Hello and welcome back to AutoCAD automation series. If we have AutoCAD that works in an operating system, then we have Python as an open source programming language and we let the magic link happen between them. The result is PyAutoCAD, a Python library that can be very useful for automating your CAD tasks. If you simply type in PyAutoCAD in Google and click the link to PyPI website, you will find all information about PyAutoCAD, like description, features, and even simple use cases. And if you want to go deeper, you could follow the documentation links and source code. Also, you will find how to install that library to use it. All I can say, I was really impressed by it. But I'm not a programmer. So I thought I could use ChatGPT. After greeting, I have asked ChatGPT to generate a simple Python code to draw a circle in AutoCAD, given some information like coordinates for the circle center and diameter. So in the use case, I used the X, Y, and Z coordinates are zeros. The diameter is 200 units. And I asked specifically to use the Pi AutoCAD library for this task. ChatGPT instantly responded with the Python code. I can clearly see a method called add circle is used there. Anyway, I have copied the code, paste into a Python script, then run the code um, a circle is created um, with the information I have provided, uh, i.e. the coordinates and the diameter of 200. Cool, now, I decided to continue the magical chat and ask it to add another circle using same center as for the first circle, but with a hundred meter unit diameter. It was really quick. I have copied the code again and pasted it into the Python script, ran the code and got the results of two circles immediately. It is matching the specification I've asked for. Imagine you can use the same strategy uh, to automate more complex drawings in a way that saves your time and achieves more. In summary, uh, at some point, you are able to chat with a machine using natural language and get your work done with increased efficiency, improved accuracy, and even better decision making. Before I finish, I will leave you with this great wisdom. That's all for now and see you in the next video.